What's up guys, my name is Julian and today I'm gonna to be going over the top five states that you probably didn't think solar made a lot of sense in, but actually have under a 10 year payback period and some closer to around five. Most people kind of think that California, Nevada, Arizona, Texas, Florida, more of the kind of the Southern states latitude wise are really the only ones that make sense for solar. But I'm going to explain all of the incentives that these five states have to offer. Before I dive into each individual state though, I do want to make sure that everyone understands the categories of the incentives on this board. And if you already know about your state's incentives and would like to fast forward, here are the timestamps so you can go straight to your state. So the first one is the 30% federal tax credit. Now this is available in all states, so this isn't specific to just these states. And you do not get this if you lease or do a power purchase agreement. So this is only if you purchase the system either cash or with a loan. The second category is one-to-one -one net energy metering. Now this is, this is like the big daddy of all incentives because this makes the biggest difference out of any incentive. Now, what this means is that the utility company is actually going to purchase back the power that you produce in excess and don't use immediately, send back to the grid. They're gonna buy that power or credit your account the full retail value, which is amazing because a lot of utility companies, they only wanna give you a couple cents on the dollar for what it's worth. And what this allows you to do is not have to invest in battery infrastructure because batteries cost tens of thousands of dollars a lot of the time. And if you can just send the power back to the grid in the day and then take power at night, but your credits cancel that uh, you know, power out that you already bought, now it makes perfect sense and you don't really need to worry about nighttime or winter months because it's more based on an annual usage equation. The third one is the solar state tax credit. This would be if, if a certain state offers a tax credit. In this case, only New York actually offers the tax credit. Okay, so uh, SREX. Now this is a state renewable energy credit. And so what this is, this is actually pretty interesting. So these are sold on the open market. One SREX is equal to 1000 kilowatt hours of production that your system um, is estimated to produce. And so, what is actually happening here is big corporations, when they don't meet their renewable energy goals, they have to basically buy these SRECs from the state to make up for basically not meeting their goal. And so where the state is getting these SRECs is actually from the homeowners investing in solar. And so in some states, they pay out in a lump sum. Sometimes it's good for three years, sometimes it's good for 15 years. I'll go into that uh, during each specific state, but this really helps you save a ton of money and Illinois actually has the best SRX of all. Okay, solar rebates. This is a multitude of different potential rebates that different states or utilities could be offering. Solar property tax exemption. So because solar raises the property value, you know, because it's an asset on the home if it's paid off, to incentivize you to go solar, these states have actually prevented the property taxes from going up because of going solar. So some people are like, I don't want to pay more property taxes because the property is going to go up in value. And this basically helps you not have to worry about that and solar sales tax exemption. So this is just uh, whenever anyone buys something, we pay a, a sales tax. Now solar equipment in certain states, they've uh, basically decided to not charge sales tax because they're trying to make it just that much more affordable. This is an incentive that it's more the contractor who's purchasing the equipment is gonna be the, uh, you know, the immediate beneficiary of, but that just means ultimately the average cost of a project is like 500 to a thousand dollars less and so that's one way or another ultimately going to be passed on so for each state i'm going to be going over the incentives and then i'm going to give you an estimated breakdown of what the total cost would be for a system and then show you what the incentives are worth so that we can see what the true net cost is and you can see how fast of a payback period going solar in these states really are and if you hadn't already assumed i do work and install solar in all of these states so if you need a quote please reach out to me at 760-473-5878. I have a whole team and I actually have some local experts in these states that can help you go solar. So reach out and definitely get a competing bid. All right, you can watch every single state's information or I'm gonna put up on the screen here a timestamp of all the different states. So if you wanna fast forward directly to your state, now's the time to do it. All right, let's get going. Starting with number five, Maryland. Now, Maryland is right next to our nation's capital, right, Washington, D.C., and it's some of the oldest infrastructure in the entire United States, okay? So there's a lot of repairs going on, and because of it, the cost of power has 
gone up a lot in the recent years. And so Maryland, as you can see, has almost every single blue check marked except for a solar state tax credit. And so they are really pushing you to go solar in Maryland. And so they obviously have the federal tax credit, one-to-one -one net metering. Maryland also has a solar state rebate called the Maryland Residential Clean Energy Rebate Program. And this is $1,000 that they will pay you after you get your system installed. And then just as I explained in the introduction, they also have a solar property tax exemption and a solar sales tax exemption. And so your property taxes are not gonna go up because you go solar. And like I said, they're trying to incentivize you to go solar. And so that equipment, you do not pay solar sales tax at all. So in Maryland, whether you're in Pepco, Smetco, BGE, or Del Marva, your rates are somewhere in the teens per kilowatt hours. All right, so let's break down kind of an average scenario. So we're gonna take a $160 bill and we're gonna turn it into just $10 a month. So we're gonna be saving $150 a month. And the system that we're gonna need to do that in this case is gonna be about a 10 kilowatt system. Now that 10 kilowatt system is going to produce 12,000 kilowatt hours in a year. And so it's gonna be producing on average about 1,000 kilowatt hours per month. All right, so the net cost after the tax credit comes back Back, in this case, right, is 22,400. But the SREC check is going to be approximately $680 per year. And so I actually have a chart that I made and I'm gonna put it up on the screen here so you can see what your actual cost with the system is over time, but after 10 years, for example, it drops all the way down to 15,600 from 22,400. And I also have um, a savings chart as well, so you can see when the two numbers meet and easily when the system pays for itself. Now, if we basically look at the chart here, if we don't take the rising cost of power into account, then the payback period is gonna happen right around nine years when the savings becomes around $16,000 and that is right around what your cost for the system is at that point in time. And if we do take into account the rising cost of power and assume that your electric bill price goes up around 6% every year, you actually hit your payback period around 7.5 years, which is pretty amazing. So when it's all said and done, a system that grossed at $32,000 literally became $15,600 in actual cost when it was all said and done. And that is pretty amazing if you ask me. All right guys, coming in at number four is Pennsylvania. So Pennsylvania has energy costs that are on the rise and a lot of people have been noticing lately. When you factor in the generation and delivery charges, on average, you guys are buying power for around 17 to 20 cents per kilowatt hour, depending upon what utility company you're in and, and where you are. Now, they may say that the price per kilowatt hour is seven, eight, nine, ten 10 cents, but when you factor in the other around seven to eight cents you're being charged just for the delivery, now your rates are starting to get pretty crazy. So in Pennsylvania, obviously you get the federal tax credit and one-to-one -one net metering. And the solar rebate though, it's a Philadelphia-based 20 cent per watt rebate, but currently it is not being funded right now. It, you can still apply for it, and if it comes back, then you know they'll go in order of the applications, but for right now, it's on pause, but a lot of people still think it's gonna come back. So, so definitely apply, and hopefully you'll get it later. Now, every scenario, you know, of course, is gonna be different, but let's break down an average scenario. In this example, we're going to take a $160 bill and turn it into just $10 a month. In order to do this, we're going to to need a 10 kilowatt system and on an annual basis it's going to produce around 12,000 kilowatt hours per year. Pennsylvania actually has one of the best SREC programs in the entire country. Now in Pennsylvania you're actually paid out on your SRECs for up to 15 years which is absolutely amazing because what this does is it actually brings your cost of ownership down over time because every year you're actually getting these checks for SRECs and over time that just helps your savings uh, that increase that much more. 
Now this system is going to cost a gross total of $32,000. The tax credit is going to total $9,600. And then here's where it gets interesting. The SREX, if we say that they are uh, about $32 each currently, and you're gonna be getting 13 of them every year, that in current dollars is around $416 every single year. Now, I made a chart here, and so what I did was I subtracted $416 every single year from the $22,400 net cost. And so over the course of several years, the $22,400 actually turns into around $17,200, which is actually amazing. Now, I did subtract a little bit to, you know, because I don't want to assume it's going to just be $32 forever. The asterisk value may go down a little bit over the years. So so there also may be some processing fees by different companies that are handling the SREX for you. And so it, it could be more than this and it could fluctuate a little bit, but the net cost for your system that started at $32,000 is going to come all the way down to somewhere in the range of around $17,200 or so. And of course, the main question that everybody always wants to know is how long is it going to take to actually pay itself back? Now, in the beginning of the example, I said that this system was going to save you $100 fifty dollars per month now if you taking into account the constantly lessening of the cost every year with the SREC checks that you'll be receiving, your system without taking into account the rising cost of power, which in reality it's gonna be going up, but if you don't and just say it's $150 flat every month that you save, then it's going to pay itself back in nine years, years, which is pretty fast. And if you do take the rising cost of power into account, it is going to pay itself back in about seven or eight years. And coming in number three is New Jersey. I kind of last minute switched New York and New Jersey here, but New Jersey has an incredible incentive program. Their SRECs are actually good for 15 years. Now, the downside to the SREC program is that they actually are going to pay you out over those 15 years. It's not going to be a lump sum at once, but it's incredible when you add up how much the SRECs are going to pay you back and, and how much of the total cost it really covers over the long run. And here's what I mean. For example, let's say you're going solar and we are gonna cover a bill of around $150 a month and bring it down to $10 a month. Every scenario, of course, is gonna be a little bit different, but in this case, we're gonna use a seven kilowatt system and that's gonna cover uh, your $150 bill, bring it down to $10, and that system is gonna cost $25,000 gross. Now, the 30% tax credit is gonna be $7,500 and in this case, the SREX are gonna be worth around $850 per year times 15 years, which is incredible because when you add that up over 15 years, that's literally going to be worth almost $13,000, which is incredible. So it's kind of a little bit more difficult to, to calculate the payback period because over time, your cost is actually going to become less because you're going to be getting checks back every year. So basically, if you buy the system and you fast forward five years, what was $25,000 because you've gotten five years of $850 Asterix each year, your cost at five years is $13,250. Now, what you've spent at that point in time is only $8,400. So at year five, you're still down a couple thousand dollars, but over the next two years, something amazing happens. You're, you're gonna be getting another $850 back two times, so that's uh, $1,700, and you're gonna save another $140 per month. And so when you factor that all together, now your crossover point is gonna be seven years when this system pays for itself. And if you fast forward to 10 years, you're actually gonna be up several thousand dollars. And so it's gonna flip really fast between five and 10 with this constant SREC check every year that you're going to be getting back. So much so that if you add up all of the incentives and you don't really take time into account, you just say, this is how much it's going to cost me after 15 years. What is absolutely insane is that $25,000 after the $7,500 tax credit and 
almost $13,000 in SREX, your net cost comes in to under $5,000, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's a no-brainer in my opinion. All right, guys, and coming in at number two is New York. Now, in this example for New York, I actually used an example that is not within one of the five boroughs because the five boroughs of New York City actually have some of the most expensive power in the entire country. And so if you are in one of those five, then it's gonna be even better for you than what I uh, show you in this example. Um, I'm gonna be showing you something a little bit more uh, in terms of the average price per kilowatt hour in New York. Okay, so in New York, as you can see, uh, we have most of the boxes checked except for SREX. And the one thing that's unique about New York is that there's a solar state tax credit, and this is actually up to $5,000, which is pretty amazing. So uh, none, none of the other states offer this. And in addition to the 30% federal tax credit, if your system is large enough, you're gonna get another $5,000 right there. Another incentive specific to New York is the New York Sun Megawatt block program which is worth 20 cents a watt and this is a rebate and so in this example if the system is going to be an 8 kilowatt that is going to be $1,600 um, in a rebate that you get back okay so in this example let's say that your bill is around $150 and you're gonna need um, around an 8 kilowatt system in order to cover you uh, except for the $10 per month connection fee which gives you a $140 savings per month so the system is going to cost Cost a total of $24,000. The 30% tax credit is going to be $7,200. The state tax credit is going to be $5,000. And then you're going to get $1,600 back for the megawatt block program. And so when you subtract out all of the incentives, $24,000 becomes 10,200. And if you divide $140 of savings into that 10,200, the system's gonna pay for itself in just about six years. And this actually does not take into account the rise of power. And so really, it's probably gonna be closer to five, which is pretty amazing. Sometimes in the five boroughs where power is upwards of 32 to 40 cents sometimes, this equation can work out even better and pay for itself under five years. All right, guys, and coming in at number one is Illinois. Now, you probably wouldn't expect Illinois to be one of the best places in the entire country to go solar, but Illinois has something very special about the SREX program that makes solar a no-brainer. And so in Illinois, the price of power, if you're in more rural Illinois, is going to be in the low teens. And if you're more closer to Chicago, like if you're in ComEd territory, for example, which is about 75% of Illinois, you're going to be paying in the high teens, somewhere in the 17 to 19 cent per kilowatt hour range. And so in this example, let's say you have a bill of $130. You're going to get that down to $10. Okay. And so you're going to save $120 per month. And the system that you'll need in order to achieve that is a, about a nine kilowatt system. Now let's say you paid $30,000 gross for your nine kilowatt system. And so the 30% tax credit is going to be worth 9,000. So now you're at 20, 1,000. But the SREX in this case, because they're good for 15 years, and the SREX amount is going to kind of vary depending upon which utility company you're in and how big your system is. But you can count that your, your SREX are going to probably be in the range of around 50 to $75. And so they actually pay you out. This is incredible. Illinois calculates this out and you can get the whole amount in year one. So like a year after you install solar, you can get a check for 15 years worth of SREX. So in this case, if your system is around nine kilowatts, the SREX are gonna be around $11,000 if you can believe it. So after you subtract out the $9,000 for the tax credit, you get 11,000 back for your SREX. 30,000 has turned into $10,000. And so if you say, hey, how long does it take for that to pay itself off? $10,000 divided by 120 in savings per month, that's gonna come in at 6.9 years. And that doesn't even take into account 
the rising cost of power. So realistically, once again, that's going to come down to somewhere in the range of five to six years. And so going solar in Illinois is a no brainer. There's actually a state mandate in Illinois that 100% of their power needs to come from renewable sources by 2045. And so they're doing everything they can to incentivize you to go solar. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening to the video. I hope you learned something. I work in all of these states and have a whole team of consultants that are experts in the individual areas. And so reach out to me. My number is 760-473-5878. Or you can email me at juliansolarguide at gmail.com. More than happy to help you out and go over your project in detail and see what we can do for you and help you go solar.